Hello and welcome to the Comlex US Emily Instant Podcast. Let's talk about the treatment of pancreatic cancer. In order to treat pancreatic cancer, it's important to understand the clinical staging and prognosis of pancreatic adenocarcinomas. So, 15 to 20 percent of patients are considered to be resectable. So that's a stage, resectable, Another stage is locally advanced, and finally, metastatic as a final stage. So, 15 to 20 percent of these adenocarcinomas are resectable. 40 percent is locally advanced, unresectable, and the 40 percent left is metastatic. Now, with the resectable, the criteria includes no extra pancreatic disease. That's very important to rule out. If you have another condition, then it's probably not going to be resectable. Patent SMV and a portal vein. Also, the celiac axis and SMA are not involved. That's important too. The SMV, the vein, and the portal vein. Both the veins are involved, but not the celiac and the SMA are involved. There's no bulky nodes either and the median survival is 10 to 20 months if the tumor is favorable which means it's less than 3 centimeters and doesn't have any margins and it's well differentiated. Now, What about a locally advanced pancreatic adenocarcinoma? A locally advanced pancreatic adenocarcinoma is extensive and it covers the portal vein, the SMV, the celiac axis, or the SMA, but there is no distant metastasis. So unlike resectable, resectables which did not involve the celiac axis and the SMA, the locally advanced involves the celiac axis and the SMA, and the prognosis and median survival is 8 to 12 months. Finally, with metastatic tumors, typically the liver and the peritoneum, and occasionally the lungs are involved. Here, the median survival is three to six months. So now that you have an understanding of the clinical staging and prognosis of pancreatic adenocarcinomas, we can go ahead and talk about the treatment. The treatment includes surgery plus adjuvant therapy and a Whipple's procedure which is called a pancreatico duodenectomy which is the resection of the pancreatic head duodenum the CBD common bile duct and the gallbladder plus or minus a partial gastrectomy just repeat that the pancreatic head duodenum CBD and the gallbladder that's called the Whipple's procedure Next is adjuvant therapy, which has an increase in survival with chemoradiation, mainly with postoperative 5-FU radiation plus gemcitabine. So that's the adjuvant therapy in addition to the Whipple's procedure for resectable stage pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Now what about locally advanced? Here. 5-FU chemoradiation increases survival over chemotherapy or radiation alone. So the 5-FU chemoradiation is the answer of choice for locally advanced. And then you can add the gemcitabine. Next, the metastatic tumors will benefit from gemcitabine because it improves survival over 5-FU. And adding elortinimib to gemcitabine provides slight additional benefit. Also with all cancers palliative and supportive care is important and obstructive jaundice or gastric outlet obstruction may require endoscopic stenting or surgical bypass, opiates for pain and weight loss also, pancreatic enzyme replacement for susceptible fat malabsorption 
and a nutrition consult are all important steps to take to help the patient recover from this condition. Just some statistics about pancreatic cancer is the fourth leading cause of cancer death in the US and it's acquired by smoking, obesity, chronic pancreatitis, diabetes. All these are important risk factors as well as certain familial and hereditary conditions such as a mutation in the trypsinogen gene or a gene mutation with Peutz-Jäger syndrome or patients who have ataxia telegitasias and patients will present with three key characteristics painless jaundice with the pancreatic head mass pain that's radiating to the back and weight loss and you should also look for malabsorption new onset diabetes migratory thrombophlebitis that's the Trousseau sign and abdominal mass that's non-tender along with Courvoisier sign that's the palpable gallbladder are all important characteristics. Thank you for listening to this podcast and good luck in medical school.